Hey everybody, it's Mark with Mr. Deeds. Basically I want to talk to you today about our 12 volt soft wash system. I've seen a couple of guys on YouTube showing us how to build a soft wash system out of a 25 gallon tank. So I went ahead, did a little research, and basically just threw something at the wall and I'm going to see if it works, okay? Uh, guys over at WNC Wash Pros turned me into the Gemplers. What they had on Amazon didn't work, so I kind of bought something else that they did have. And I'm going to work with that today. I haven't plugged it in, filled it up with nothing. Um, we're going to test it out, basically. So I went to Advanced Auto Parts today, bought a 12-volt battery that I'm going to hook up today and just basically use everything that's out of the box. I haven't bought my 250 feet of, uh, of Curry Tech hose yet. I'm basically going to use that 15 feet that they installed in the box and get an idea of what the hell I'm doing before I go out and spend $500 on other shit that I think I need. So... Bear with me here, I'm going to go ahead and fill the tank with about a gallon to 10 of water. Then I'm going to hook it up to the battery. And then I'm going to uh, get the hose set up and just really get this whole thing started. I see a lot of videos um, that I really appreciate the guys out there that have built the wands, that are hooking everything up. But in the video that they made, they went a little too fast. They didn't kind of touch on some details. So we're going to trial and error here and see what works. And over the next couple of weeks, or videos, maybe hopefully over one week, thanks to Amazon Prime or, or some other pressure.com uh, stores, I'm going to be ordering things, setting it up, and getting it together. Now, for example, I got a 3A soft wash hose that I'm going to buy. I don't really know how to, to put the barb in for the for the 3As, whether I want a uh, half, or does that, how does that work with a quick connect? Brass fittings, stainless steel. I'm going to kind of get my feet wet in that because I'm not a genius at plumbing or know what the hell I'm doing for the most part. So we're going to hook this baby up, fill it with water, and uh, stay tuned. Bear with me. As you can see now, I'm filling it with water. Self-explanatory, right? Got no bleach in there yet. That would be kind of beside the point to go ahead and put bleach in that system. We're going to do a test. We're just going to see how much pressure will the goddamn thing even turn on when I get it started? Um, how does it work? I don't know. I've never owned a soft wash tank before. Uh, like I said, all of my pressure washing, power washing, has been done out of a pressure washer. It's a whole new ballpark for me, but I'm hoping it'll open a lot of avenue streams and a lot of ways to make money. So let's go ahead and see what we got. All right. Obviously, I've got my hose, but I can see my plug-in is leaking. I got a leaky plug. That's obviously user error, and it's still kind of dribbling out. So before before I get going, let's seal that bad boy up because one thing's important. Two things important. One. Stop the leak, and two, this shit shouldn't be leaking, should it? Again, it's the important part about, uh, I guess, touchy feely, see what the hell's going on with this tank. You gotta use it before you use it, you know what I mean? Uh, part of it was the threads weren't connecting, and I was just, nah, 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 it'll get in there. No. you got to take uh, take your time, get it in there flush, and don't uh, jam up the threads. You live and you learn. I'm just glad I wasn't uh, bleaching it yet. And you're probably thinking... I'm watching this guy fill up water. It's because I want to be organic and I want this to show what it takes to actually set the system up. Yeah, I could have had a full tank of water, but I wouldn't have caught the fact that I had the, the cap that was on loose. That's something you should look out for as well. It's rocket science, folks. That blinded me with science! 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 Bi-hydroxide. 
mono hydroxide, who knows? Spring water is good though. Alright, let's see if this thing sucks. Lid. Get our hose in this area code. Now this is just your simple 70 psi 2.2 gallon pump that came with the unit. I'm going to use it today, and just like my buddy over at Art uh, WNC Wash Pros. I'm going to throw it in the garage and hold on to it for a rainy day because I don't know if I'm ever going to need it, want it, use it. If my shit goes down and I need one, I'm going to rather wish I had one than not. Tighten my alligator clips. It's alligator-y. It's got a good tight bite. Confirm everything's good. All right, now, we've got the pump set. Things off. There's water. Now, the hose, the inlet hose, goes down and is nestled right here. So instead of using a ton of water, I'm thinking maybe I'll just prop up this end so it's a little higher so the water flows down. I'm going to go ahead and put some pot underneath. Not the Colorado pot, a ceramic pot. It'll just kind of tilt it up and give us more of a more volume of water in the side of the tank where the suction goes and pops out. Part number two. I bought Amazon uh, gator clips when I purchased the unit, because I didn't read the instructions that it comes with them. So I'm gonna use the ones that came with the machine and maybe I'll just Amazon Prime return the ones that I bought. Maybe I'll throw them in the garage in case these start on fire and melt. But uh, pretty self-explanatory, guys. We've got a negative and our positive. All right, there's two genders here, positive and negative, male and female. I'm gonna hook these bad boys up. Cut the positive first. She is, followed by the negative. That's a positive, that's affirmative, negative and positive. Then we've got this jacked up deal. We wonder what the, where does this go? This connects into this pump. Self explanatory male, female. Two genders in this operation here. Whoa, she's happy. She's All right. You can hear, if you don't hear my pond in the background, you hear it climbing and moving. It's kind of like the game operation. We're going to see what's going on with that. Now, I don't have any kind of special soft wand or any kind of PVC pipe set up. I've got your simple what comes out of the box type deal. you got your sweet little gun action. You've got a what looks like 18 inch aluminum deal. And then you get your little tippy tips. Oop, there it is, and it's adjustable. So we're going to check it out. We're going to see if this thing does anything on the first press. Ready? One, two, three. There's air. Now it's missing. Now you hear that? Wah, 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 wah. I don't know if that's normal. I guess we're going to figure that out, but the pudding tells me there's proof in that pudding that this thing works. This thing shoots pretty well. I mean, that can give you some good coverage. I don't know if I want, you know, steady stream or nothing, but uh, maybe there's a, a leak in the system. Maybe that's normal. But what I do know is that it's working. And by working, I mean it's squirting some shit. So as long as it's, you know, throwing bleach, throwing soap, throwing water, I'm happy with it. Uh, but I don't want to blow up the system. So I'm going to uh, call it a, a positive day on that one. Doesn't sound good though, does it? With that tan, 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 just, you know. Maybe the, uh, maybe there's a leak in the system. Maybe not one of these, or like leak in air. Maybe it's too small of a connection hose. Maybe it needs more water. Maybe we'll check it out. So the hose is pretty much submerged. I don't see any problem in there. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna disconnect this pump 
connect my bigger, fatter, stronger, sexier pump. The same day I ordered this, I went on uh, the Amazons. I've got a 60 PSI 5.5 gallon, so this is going to move a lot more. This also has the you know, half inch diameter. Maybe I'm not going to set this up just now. Um, I do have the barbs, but this seems like it'll be a really long introductory video of what the f I'm doing. So maybe we're just going to kind of tweak this a little bit and I'll check back in with you guys. Uh, basically, I'd call it a success. I've got water coming out of the hose, water coming out of the you know, the gun, the action. Uh, the pump is running, connect to a battery. The wah, wah, wah. Doesn't sound normal. I'm thinking maybe I need more air, more water, more pressure in the tank. Maybe I need to fine tune the hose connections. There's a small air leak somewhere and uh, it's not getting a continuous stream. But I don't know, it's my first time doing it. I'm not a plumber. Uh, but I'd call it a success. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll be with you in a little bit.